Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to UNA Canada's Global Citizens Award virtual event. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Vittoria Borelli, and I have the pleasure of serving as the chair of the board of UNA Canada. I'm glad we can all be together this afternoon to honor our very deserving Global Citizen Award recipient, Wes Hall. Before we move into our program, I would like to take a minute to acknowledge the conflict occurring in the Ukraine. The United Nations Association in Canada, through our partnerships, is working in Ukraine and we will continue to expand our efforts and support. Our thoughts are with the people of the Ukraine and all those impacted by this senseless conflict. For anyone who would like to read our full statement, you can check it out on our website. And now I would like to acknowledge the land we are on UNA Canada's offices are located on the unceded, unsurrendered territory of the Anishinaabe Algonquin Nation. We believe that social justice in Canada and globally depends on reconciliation with all Indigenous people, including the First Nations, Meti, and Inuit people, who are original guardians of the land we are grateful to be sharing. At UNA Canada, we are proud of our historical success as a Canadian charity linking Canada and the UN as a membership-based institution with a presence in every province and territory. We collaborate actively with governments, the private sector, educators, and media to raise awareness about the United Nations and global issues, and to engage Canadians in building a sustainable, equitable, and prosperous future with a special attention to marginalized youth. UNA Canada also contributes significantly to solution seeking at the national and international levels. Our prestigious international internship program provides youth with internships with UN agencies around the world, while our Generation SDG program equips young Canadians with the tools to implement the sustainable development goals in their own communities. Now we'll go to another short video that will provide you some details on our work here at UNA Canada. I'm Jamie. For 20 years, I joined the UN on the front line of some of the world's biggest challenges. I'm proud to be home, bringing other Canadians closer to the UN. I love the UN for its work around the world and believe that it's essential that we're present if we're to be part of the solution to the many global challenges we're facing. And you can be part of that change. For what you've done uh, and what you're doing and what you will do, uh, what you've done for the last 75 plus years, um, starting with the League of Nations. Uh, I, I like that, um, that heritage and it's very important to underscore it. Um, uh, but uh, holding the flag high, inspiring Canadians and inspiring people around the world and uh, to make a better world. Uh, and never is it, uh, has it been more important. The UN Association in Canada joins the UN and millions of Canadians in fighting for an end to systemic racism and inequality. We give voice to those on the front lines of Canada's efforts to combat climate change. We are building the next generation of great Canadian innovators, policymakers, entrepreneurs and artists. We ensure that Canada leaves no one behind and reaches the furthest first as we build a sustainable and prosperous future for Canada and the world. I'm carrying peace and love that ain't very hard. Are you aware that I got my first job at the UN because of UNA Canada? Are you aware that I attended the UN Climate Conference through UNA Canada? Are you aware that I am helping immigrants access education thanks to UNA Canada? In the end, it comes down to values. 
We want the world our children inherit to be defined by the values enshrined in the UN Charter. Peace, justice, respect, human rights, tolerance, and solidarity. Be aware and become a global citizen. And now, to get to the reason we are all here today, the Global Citizen Award. The Global Citizen Award recognizes role models who share a positive vision for a better Canada and the world, and are committed to education, health and wellness, environmental sustainability, and economic and social growth and stability. Laureates contribute to their community, country, and the, and the world through their actions. They reflect the core values and principles UNA Canada embodies in our pursuit for youth engagement and delivering empowering programs. Laureates inspire and mobilize Canadians in support of the principles and critical work of the United Nations. Our laureates motivate global citizens and Canadians looking to build a stronger future. Mr. Hall, our Global Citizen Award recipient this year, is a role model and an example of how national, social, and financial innovation can foster a more inclusive, fair, equitable, and sustainable world. He is a committed and widely respected leader who has founded multiple community organizations and supported many others through his participation and philanthropy. He strives to be a positive influence for emerging entrepreneurs. He knows firsthand how much drive and dedication it takes to build a business especially as a black or visible minority in Canada. He is the founder and chairman of the Canadian Council of Business Leaders Against Anti-Black Systemic Racism and the Black North Initiative, committed to the removal of anti-black systemic barriers negatively, negatively affecting the lives of Canadians. Mr. Hall has a deep understanding of the systemic anti-black racism faced by Black entrepreneurs and how to navigate the system. He is making a difference through his work with the Black North Initiative by creating more opportunities for the Black and BIPOC communities. The Black North Initiative challenges Canadian businesses to end anti-systemic racism with a business-centric approach. As the founder and executive chairman of the Black North Initiative, Mr. Hall's goal is to improve the lives of millions of Black Canadians by opening doors that otherwise would have been shut. He shares UNA Canada's values and commitment to a better future for Black Canadians and African communities around the world. UNA Canada is proud to be honoring and paying special tribute to Wes Hall and his unique and ambitious model of leadership for his positive vision for a better world and for his contributions through many organizations, including those he has founded. His generous philanthropic commitment to Black youth and corporate leadership has educated communi communities across Canada. He is an outstanding global citizen as he exemplifies how social responsibility and philanthropic leadership can be enormously successful in fostering inclusive societies, civic engagement, and prosperity. And I'm not the only one today who wants to congratulate Wes. We have a video from the Lieutenant Governor of Ontario Elizabeth Dowd as well, Mayor Tory and Deputy Mayor Thompson. Um, so we'll play that in just a second here, but I also want to acknowledge that Premier Ford's office sent their congratulations and that letter will be posted and up in the chat as well. So I think we'll turn it over to the video. Ms. Webb, Mr. Hall, hello everyone, bonjour, bonjour. I first wish to acknowledge that I'm speaking to you from my office in Toronto, situated on lands that have been stewarded and shaped by Indigenous peoples since time immemorial. I pay them my respect and seek kinship. En tant que le lieutenant gouverneur, J'ai le grand privilège de diffuser les histoires de personnes très remarquables qui ont fait de l'Ontario leur chez soi et de leur rendre hommage. Those who live and work for others, 
who strive to build a fairer, more inclusive and sustainable world, those who stand as role models for us all. The preamble of the Charter of the United Nations begins with we the peoples. In recognizing our interdependence and our mutual vulnerability, it calls upon us to contribute in the search for a world that works for everyone. And tonight, the United Nations Association in Canada presents its Global Citizens Award to someone who has embraced that call, Mr. Wes Hall. A true citizen of the world, from rural Jamaica to Bay Street, Mr. Hall's life story is deeply inspiring. So too is it a testament to how business and its leaders can strengthen their communities and effect meaningful social change. These past few years have been a moment of reckoning for our nation on the issue of inequality. And through it, Mr. Hall's voice has been at the very forefront. By his founding of the groundbreaking Black North Initiative, he has not only magnified anti-Black systemic barriers negatively affecting the lives of Black Canadians, he has worked tirelessly to uproot and remove them. His efforts and generosity remind us that building sustainable communities requires investment at the grassroots, and especially in our nation's young people, our future and our hope. In many respects, the work to build a stronger Canada has just begun. For guidance, energy, and a spirit of boundless determination, let us continue to look to Mr. Hall's shining example. On behalf of the people of Ontario, it's a distinct personal pleasure to congratulate Wes Hall on this receipt of a prestigious honour. My gratitude goes to UNAC for organizing this significant tribute and for always reminding us of our collective responsibility to bring, out, bring about a better world. Thank you. Merci. Miigwech. Hello, Mayor John Tory here, extending warmest wishes to the attendees of the UN Global Citizen Award Ceremony and my great thanks to the United Nations Association in Canada for all the work that it does, but also for bringing us all together to recognize the incredible achievements and contributions of this year's recipient, Wes Hall. Wes Hall truly embodies the UN Global Citizen Award for his myriad of accomplishments in and out of the workplace, dedicated philanthropic work. But you know, it started with his success in business as the founder and executive chairman of Kingsdale Advisors. Mr. Hall is known for his generosity with a number of impactful charitable initiatives. He truly believes in giving back. He's also the founder of the Black North Initiative, which is committed to the removal of anti-black racism here in Canada. And that list goes on and on and on, serving as a board member with the Sick Kids Foundation, Pathways to Education, and the Toronto International Film Festival, just to name a few. And if you think about it, all of this touches so many Canadians and Torontonians. And for that work, for his volunteer work, helping those organizations, I want to extend my profound appreciation to Wes on behalf of the government and the people of the City of Toronto. Wes, your generosity and your charitability and your energy and your service to our city is remarkable. So thank you for all that you do. And congratulations again for being recognized as this year's UN Global Citizen Award winner. And congratulations to the UN Association for its continuing good work, important work, on behalf of one of our most important global organizations, the United Nations. Thank you. Starting from the bottom, now you hear. Congratulations to UNC for awarding the Global Citizen Award to my good friend, Wes Hall an accomplished businessman, a philanthropist, one who has social compassion, all rolled into making him an exceptionally wonderful candidate for this award. Congratulations, Wes, all the best. So for those who don't know, uh, Wes is gonna be accepting his award from St. Lucia. 
And we are very, very um, honored to have with us this evening, the Prime Minister of St. Lucia, the Honorable Philip Pierre, who will be presenting the award to Wes Hall. So I will turn it over um, to both Philip and Wes. Good evening, everyone. Let me recognize West Hall and the invited guests here this evening. The United Nations Association in Canada has over its, 70, over its prestigious 76 year history, worked with and acknowledged some of Canada's most powerful change makers. As it achieves its mission to bring the UN mission and values to Canada from senators and generals to business and religious leaders, UN and Canada, finest citizens. Westall is a proud Canadian with strong roots in the Caribbean. He's truly a global citizen. His accomplishments in business and philanthropy show his personal commitment to ending systemic anti-Black racism in business. In doing so, he has put himself on the front lines of implementation of the Durban Declaration and program of action, the UN's blueprint to combat racism, racial discrimination, ex to, to combat racial discrimination and related intolerance globally. St. Lucia is proud to have made our own pledge to combat racism. This time last year, we joined the United States, Canada, and many others in issuing a joint statement on racism to the 46th session of the UN Human Rights Council. In this statement, we committed to working with our nation and international community to address and combat racism, racial discrimination, and related intolerance. While upholding freedom of expression, we are proud to have West Hall reflecting our values in his own business here in St. Lucia, the Harbor Club. West's belief in his, that is that his hotels should benefit and cater to the island and its residents. The Harbor Club employs upwards of 180 service professionals, of which all but six are from the island herself. West is also contributing to St. Lucia's ambitious sustainability targets. The Harbor Club is certified green hotel that we require that its vendors meet the standards of no single use plastics by the year 2025. I know you are also an important contributor to equity and sustainability in Canada. I have here a compliment, complimentary message from the Right Honorable Justin Trudeau, Prime Minister of Canada. Prime Minister Trudeau joins me in recognizing the inspiration you provide to emerging entrepreneurs and your commitment to building a more inclusive, fair, and equitable Canada. On behalf of the United Nations Association in Canada and its 20,000 members, it gives me great pleasure to bestow the 2021 Global Citizen Award on West Hall. Well, first of all, my uh, my good friend Walid Solomon got this uh, award a few years ago, and um, Walid and I have a friendly competition. And he had a former prime minister hand him the award, so I decided to top him by getting the current prime minister to uh, <laughs> to hand the award. So, uh, Prime Minister Pierre, thank you very much uh, for uh, for being here and for uh, taking the time to do this. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, Victoria. I want to thank uh, Mayor Tory. I want to thank uh, Prime Ministers uh, Trudeau and uh, Prime Minister Pierre for their kind words. Uh, so what does it mean to be a global citizen? It means that you love the country you're from. I'm from Jamaica, and I love Jamaica. 
but it also means that uh, I'm not nationalistic as a result of being a Jamaican. I love Jamaica, I was born there. Uh, it means a lot to me, but it also adopted, uh, Canada adopted me as my home. And here I am in St. Lucia, the beautiful Ellen of St. Lucia, and I'm just as comfortable here as well. So that's what it, like, it means to be a global citizen. It means that you never take up arms to kill your fellow man because they're from a different country, like we're seeing today. It means that even though you may have differences with others from a different country or a different nation, that you work out those differences in a peaceful way because we're all here for the same reason. It also means that if there's a global pandemic, that you will use your resources to help those countries with meager or no resources. It means that you will not exploit the planet for the benefit of your own GDP at the expense of other nations. In the scriptures, it says, love your neighbor as yourself. But what is the definition of a neighbor based on the scriptures? Is the person that show kindness towards you, regardless of your race, your ethnicity, your sexual orientation, or your gender. I grew up in extreme poverty. And growing up in extreme poverty, raised by a single grandmother, I experienced firsthand what it's like for someone to be selfless and to show a self-sacrificing spirit towards me. My grandmother, Julia Vassal, she had not a lot of material things. She had to get by with hard work and her wits. I was a product of the soil and I'll remain so until I leave this earth. My grandmother, my first role model and I, we're, I'm forever grateful because of what she did for me. She didn't uh, do anything to really, you know, leave a legacy in terms of, I'm gonna do this because I want people to think about me this way when I leave the planet. She wasn't like that. She did what she had to do. She had all these grandkids that she had to raise and she just got up every single day at 4.30 a.m., worked for 10 hours, and then she continued to look after us, to bathe us, to make sure that we have food, and then she got up at 4.30 and she'd do it all over again. So I do what I do today to honor her self-sacrificing spirit. Because of my grandmother's example, I was able to seek out another strong woman in my life to compliment me in my life's journey. And that is my wife of 29 years, Christine. I would not be here you know, without her. And I really thank her for all the work that she does behind the scenes, even to this day, today, telling me, don't be nervous. Be okay, you're gonna be fine. And here I am, she's right, I'll be fine. She is a strong woman behind this man, she is. And the only reason why she's behind me is because she doesn't crave the attention. She loves where she is and she just cheered me on. No one can do this without an amazing team of people. No one can do this without having people cheering them on in the background. And my wife is the captain of my cheerleading team. I thank you, Christine, for your unwavering support. And also I thank you for the confidence that you place in me to let me believe that anything is possible. I also would like to thank my children. One of them is here with me today, uh, number two. I'd like to thank Darian, Brenton, who's here. I'd like to thank Hiena Skallenbrogen for enriching my life. I also want to thank uh, all the people along the way that helped me. No one can accomplish great things on their own. No one can accomplish great things without having a great support system behind them. My support team is a very large one. You have my back. You gave me good counsel. My support team is very diverse and is evidence that of the beauty of Canada and the fact that systemic racism can be eliminated from our society. And with this support team, we will do just that. We have over 500 of the largest companies in Canada that have signed a pledge to say, we are gonna do a difference. We're gonna make a difference. We're gonna make change. We're gonna be inclusive. 
And for that, I thank all those leaders who signed up to make changes. And lastly, but certainly not least, I'd like to thank Jamie Webb and the UNA Canada team for this wonderful achievement. I'll never forget it. Thank you so much. Hey Wes, congratulations to you and Christine and your whole family on this incredible honor. I'm so proud of you and the entire city and country are proud of you. You know, whether it's your achievements in business, the philanthropy, volunteerism, and of course the Black North Initiative, which is just an absolute world-class initiative that is having a bigger impact than people will ever, ever appreciate. Uh, you are just one heck of a guy. So thank you very much for everything you're doing. Can't wait to continue celebrating with you, brother, over the many decades to come. Talk soon. Congrats again. I am so thrilled to celebrate this well-deserved recognition for a person who made the world a better place, my friend Wes Hall. Wes has challenged all of us to make real, true, and lasting change. Congratulations, Wes, and thank you for your commitment and your passion. Wes, on behalf of GE Canada, I wanted to say congratulations on your tremendous achievement. It's an acknowledgement of the unbelievable impact you've made. Thank you for starting with Corporate Canada and all the employees that we represent. We are thrilled to be part of your journey and very much looking forward to working with you going forward. Congratulations. Good morning, Wes. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm grateful to be here to be able to say congratulations, Wes Hall, on this very prestigious award. Uh, Wes, if all I knew about you was, was your, your backstory and what you've accomplished in Canada in terms of your entrepreneurship and your businesses, uh, I would be incredibly proud to know you. Uh, but I also have insight into what you do for us, what you do for our community and what you do for all Canadians. Um, so proud to be a director of Black North and see the impact that you've had creating this great initiative. Uh, and I also know how much time you spend one-on-one -on -one with people from our community, encouraging, mentoring and changing lives. So congratulations again, really proud of you. And I'm just so happy to see you get this recognition. Take good care, everybody. On behalf of Nutrien, I'm thrilled to congratulate you on receiving the Global Citizen Award. Your leadership, your vision, your generosity have inspired so many and will continue to make waves for generations to come. This is an amazing achievement and very well deserved. On behalf of Huron University College, I want to congratulate Wes Hall on the reception of the Global Citizen Award. There couldn't be a more worthy recipient Wes has dedicated his life to creating opportunities for others and to bringing people together. Congratulations, Wes. Wes, I also want to extend my congratulations again on this well-deserved honor. We wish we could be celebrating together in person, but I'm glad that you're able to celebrate um, with some folks in St. Lucia. So we are getting to the end of our program this evening. But before we conclude, I want to thank some of our generous sponsors. Norton Rose Fulbright, Kingsdale Advisors, RBC, GE Canada, Empire Company Limited, the Black North Initiative, Power Corporation of Canada, Canaccord Genuity, CIBC, Mercer, Nutrien, Huron University College, and our media sponsor, the Toronto Star. I would also like to take a minute to thank the team at UNA Canada and to thank Mr. Hall's team as well, as I know they work very hard 
to make this event possible and pivoted many, many times in light of changing COVID restri restrictions. So thank you so much for all of your hard work. Um, I know that we all really appreciate it. And finally, I would be remiss not to take a minute to remind folks that as a non-for-profit organization, UNA Canada relies on the generous support of institutional, corporate, and individual donors to implement these important initiatives. Please support UNA Canada in delivering crucial programming by making a donation or becoming a member today. You can do so at our website, www.unac.org or you can scan the available QR code to support the United Nations Association in Canada. Your involvement and support are crucial to our work and always appreciated. And that concludes our event this evening. I wanna thank everyone for attending. And again, Mr. Hall, congratulations on your well-deserved award. I hope you enjoy the sunshine in St. Lucia. Thanks so much, everyone.